Hello there, and welcome to Isilda. In the, on the west side of, again, Bayo Assault, locking in the NKVD Rifle Disruption Tactics. He's issuing an order to his troops, not one step back, because he's 1-0 down versus the man in the east. And that man in the east is Kimbo Mad Slice, or Lucas Clan Kimbo, as he's called now. And uh, what a game one from him. He's defeated the Sodor once already today. He's looking to do it again now as Axis, and he has locked in defensive doction from the community. <laughs> ah, indeed. And what a beautiful community it is. So many of them out in chat. And I love the banter you get. I mean, the, the story behind Rooker, ACL, Kimbo, that's the Russian clan, isn't it? For Nagano, Jove, Bulat, etc. And Kimbo knows, like, he's a Pole. He's this young kind of controversial Polish kid, isn't he? So he's like, yeah, I'm in your clan, guys. Come on down. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Classic trolling well, you got from Kimbo, the Ziva clan, which is kind of a sleeper clan is an old school thing with Angry Dutchy, Elpen, oh, and a yeah. few others, and Legio. Then you've got TR clan, and now the Ruka CL clan with um, Kimbo and his best friend uh, Eternal and Nagano. You got the two letter name clan as well, Erd and AE as well. We were in a clan now. And... <laughs> 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 when, when you come up against guys in uh, Dota, we're always like, oh my god, clan bros, and you get so scared of it, but it's just like, lols. It's just a tag yeah. We don't talk anything. about MOBAs here, Ed. Please wash your mouth out. That's... <laughs> you've, you've upset me already. I have not played in a few years, mate. Good, good. I'll well, hopefully you can get to rehab and we can concentrate on the <laughs> superior methodology of watching. In this case, th he saved it all the way to the end. It's Oss Trooper. If you're watching this Commander Terminator tournament, just just believe me when I tell you it's been one of the greatest tournaments we've ever had. Loads of off-meta mentalness, but all the best players have saved some of the sneaky uber-meta commanders to last. And because they are in a situation now where it's do or die, they want $1,000. They want 10 full Master League points, or I think it might be 12, heading into the... Uh, World Championship in November for I'll probably be for ten thousand dollars first place prize again, and um, and that's why we're seeing this. But Ilsilda with a true non metapic NKVD, that is still a pretty good commander though, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty good, but it ain't quite Kimbo's, <laughs> you know, mega big brain idea of saving all his best commanders for the grand finals. One off stoop and uh, skips away on one HP, just chilling. Just testing uh, Isidore, getting him a bit excited as Kimbo, and then denying the wipe at the last second. But yeah, Kimbo in the previous game, KV2 with Shock Troops. You know, absolute optimal for this map. And now in this second game, defensive doctrine with Oss Troop. And so you've seen a really good management of his commanders, which has been a great subplot of this uh, tournament map and your idea. From Kimbo and Isildur, you know, he's got some really good commanders, but let's be honest, <laughs> Yag Tiger and NKVD isn't quite up there. As no, it is certainly commanders. isn't. These these are politi the politicians, aren't they? They're just there to shoot the soldiers should they not want to fight. That's the NKVD in a nutshell. <laughs> not the uh, Soviet general's favourite uh, doctrine of the Second World War, let's say. Meanwhile, back in the southwest, we've got the Ostrupin from behind Light Cover Vista Combat Engineers and a tale as old as time. We don't have to watch that. Well, it's all eyes on this Ostrupin squad here. That's the more interesting battle because he's down to one last soldier waiting for his six comrades from the north to save the day. Back in that southern engagement, it's still going on. This is not slow motion. That's slow motion. This is actually normal speed. <laughs> Doesn't make it any more exciting. Oh, I love this part of the game, though. This is all about positioning, setup, and uh, holding key locations of the map for as long as possible. And uh, before the tanks ruin the fun, it's just a lot of bolt action gameplay and an MG42 versus flamethrower as like the super weapons of It's the a dance, minutes. Ed. It's a beautiful dance. And here we go at the flames coming in from the north, a little bit of flanking action on the MG42, forcing it to reposition. Is he going to go for a ballsy reposition in the field of play? Yes, he is. He bet there. He bet that combat machine was going to go forward past him. So he doubled down on it, and it was a very risky strat by Kimbo, but he's also going to bet that he can weather the storm, and that is risky. Oh, that's a double bluff, Ed, and it's not gone right. He's now out of there. A lot of flanking and shanking there from Misseldor, but he got suppressed in green cover because that wall does have some shrubbery behind it with the conscript, so... <laughs> Didn't really help him out there, but he will merge into the flamethrower with the conscripts. Great ability, by the way. Probably one of the strongest early game abilities. 
Definitely. And uh, yeah, as we see, the, the flamethrower already nearly fed too. Talking of flamethrowers or flammity flupensies, as you would prefer they were called. We have the 251 half track on the field. The munitions have been spent. Hissilda's in for a rough ride here. This is why this commander, this is why we designed the Commander Terminator tournament. We don't, <laughs> we didn't mind you playing this uh, this stuff once or twice, but it only had to be once or twice, and you had to try and get to the grand final to utilize it. So Kimbo's kept this back all the way until this point. But today, of course, is a best of seven. Um, so they are going to have to go through the gears, especially if we start to see Isilda claiming games back. Yeah, and the uh, 251 flame for half track just reminds me of DevM crushing opposition back in the day in Mobile Assault. Light vehicles are plenty for us here. It is quite refreshing to see it back again. Mine detected. Tier 3. Yeah, indeed. Mine detected there, so the 251 knows which way to go. There is a Ziskun building, so uh, Izzy will be able to hold firm for a while. But he's going to have to try and branch out to get a victory point in the meantime. No 18 8 either to Ed. Yeah, the great thing about Austria, not just their cheapness to reinforce, but also their foul stability. Makes them a far sturdier choice than the Salt Glens. It used, was our old meta in the previous patch. I think Austria is just so much more solid. Keeps all your snares, opportunity across the map. And you can then hit hit the enemy hard with your power weapons in the early game spikes of uh, either 251 or a couple two two twos. So yeah, Kimbo in full flight here. Isidore's going to have to think about how he's going to store this out. Perhaps tech 18 aids as soon as possible to help out that Ziskun. On scripts pushed away. Ziskun appears on the horizon. Draw no 18 aids. Oh, that's a good first shot, however. He turns around, he backs up, does he eat another? Oh, close to. Yeah, there's no 18 aids because Isildur cancelled it. It wasn't the build halfway done. He cancels it and goes for tier 3 attack instead. So this is going to be, try and be a very fast T70 for him. Fast it's considering the territorial point. control, isn't it? I mean, yeah, I mean he hasn't had any. <laughs> it's the same old story again. Kimbit's flying ahead with VP zone instead of Isildur this time. But one player... So happens it's the east side twice, getting a huge VP lead early game. Panzer Grenadiers appear in the north, forcing the Ziskun away. Good quick reactions by Isilda. I noticed this during the semi finals. Bundle nade on the retreat path. Doesn't get a full wipe. Can the STGs polish him off? Yes, they can. Awesome play there from Kimbo. If there's going to be one player working out your retreat path <laughs> and have a high DPS unit on it, it's going to be Kimbo. Almost his trademark of how he plays. Great wipe there. Cons going down. There's only two left for Isidore. He did not go for the four cons. Early build. So, yeah, this is definitely a huge advantage. Kimbo for game two, folks. T70 to save the day, perhaps. So, not before the Pat 40 is on the field. It's going to be a race. Of course, the T70 a little bit of an opening as the Pat 40 takes longer to get to the area of operation. Oh, there's a good shot from the Ziss. But a bundle nade will stop him from. Pursuing so much damage of the, that P Gwen's efficiency, just like being on the field, be very high. And a uh, big brain pencil P5 in chat says, Can't use Scorch Earth if you have no Earth to Scorch, so <laughs> damn right. <laughs> yeah, only works when you're Russia and you've got like an entire continent of a country. Wouldn't be but very good if you were Scorched no Earth and you were England. <laughs> yeah, no Tellers down, Matt, for the T-70's arrival. So he's going to have free reign over this battlefield. I fear for the Austrians' lives now with this little tin yeah, can. The, this is what I was saying. The Pac-40 arrived on the field at the same time, but takes longer to push. Of course, in World War II, the Germans would have used horses. But in this case, you get the voice lines, uh, we ate all the horses, you remember? Yeah, with the pack gun crew, is that, I think? It is, of course, because, as yeah. I say, it would have been pulled by uh, GG's otherwise. T-17 <laughs> coming into view as the uh, Austrup and do carry a Faust, of course. He's so going to focus fire them, try and get rid of them. I want Cavalry Commander, Co-3. <laughs> Literally just forces everyone. That would be epic. Pack gun coming up to support the MG-34 with its Star Wars laser beam ammo. Activated. <laughs> Ziz shoots from downtown. It's probably the most disgusting ability in the game still, man. This is Ziz Oh, it always has been, yeah. 
There was a time where the SU-76's barrage was free as well, and it wasn't that oh, yeah. far yeah. worse, and you just <laughs> used to see people build three of them and just pepper you constantly. And a lot of units. Oh, it's got a run to Death Gauntlet across his own S minefield with T-70 shooting at it. Gets across in time, does Kimbo. Putting a lot of hurt on the conscripts, so though. That's the third one is built now from Mitzeldorf. Knee-jerk reaction to this early game aggression from Kimbo. Look at the Englishman's victory point count as well, Ed. 158 and dropping. Kimbo's not lost a single one, as is the power of one of those powerful commanders in the game played to its optimum capacity. We are, after this, by the way, we're going to have to look at the brackets, Ed. That second tab, that tells you all the commanders that have been used. We're going to have to try and see what Kimbo's got left at his disposal. Bundle laid on retreat, perhaps. Of course it is. Oh, but he gets a little bit friendly fire on the 251. Can the Zis finish it off? It's going to lose sight. No, he hasn't gone for the attack round, so good play there from Kimbo. Kept the pressure with the Pigrens in the vicinity, so Isidore has to back off. Good save there for his 251. Fresh uh, conscript on the field now for capping capability. Oh, as the pack finds the T-70 trying to do a job on the Panzer Grenadiers. Oh, gets another shot in as well. Could actually finish him off here. He needs to be really careful. I think this is a dead P-Gren if Kimbo's not careful, but... Conscript's accuracy on the move. Oh, we will talk about it last game with the Panzer Fusiliers. It is complete opposite of Cons. That was poor. They couldn't finish off that P-Gren unit. And the T-70 was on too low HP to pursue. But uh, yeah, good, measured, constant, educated pressure here from Kimbo. This is what we're saying in previous games. Can he keep his cool, territory. not get too ahead of himself and start throwing and doing crazy baits just to amuse himself at times, it seems. S-Mines detonates. S-Mines detonates in the advance of the conscripts. Like, trying to cap <laughs> desperately. What have you seen, Did S? You see that? Ziz, the, the attack ground from the outer rims of this planet. So far away, the attack round nearly got the 251 flak half check, uh, flame half check. Gosh, for, uh, that would have been amazing overshot. Yeah, I've ridiculous. seen it happen. It was, yep, yeah, very nearly happened. got it. Conscripts emerged from nowhere. They've gone for a major flank up the Stuka crash site, it would seem, to try and cap that northern bitch. When this map does have layers of depth, as the Panzer Grenadiers are in peril. The T-70s flanked them. It's going for the kill here. Pack does get him. Is there a oh. Faust on the horizon? Yes, there is. Do they get it? Yes, they do. T-70s needs to survive here for Isildur. He needs to live through this. The Pack 40 misses. <laughs> Pack, why you do this? But there was a couple of wipes there. Pioneer went down for Kimbo. And he traded a conscript for it, though, as uh, Isildur did not retreat from a bundle nade. Too busy scrambling for his T-70 control. And uh, good win there for Kimbo. He'll take a pioneer for a conscript any day. Definitely. Especially well, when you're ahead. Well caught, by the way, Ed. I mean, the ability to keep track of the engagements off camera is very vital. Devem and Von Ivan failed me yesterday. I was like, these guys are pro players, and Ed does a better job of keeping track of squads uh, getting wiped off camera, you know? I was I like, what's going on? Casting, man, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just living through these players because I know I can never be as great as them. <laughs> so I just watch their units instead. But, uh, and, uh, people uh, take out of casting whatever they want, really, isn't it? Uh, to focus on different things. So. Certainly. Taking out what you can out of a game. Kimbo's taking a maximum victory point haul here. He's what we're going to call as acing his opponents, as it used to be known back in the day. 500 victory points. He's not lost a single one. Isildur's in double-digit land. This isn't looking good. Nope, not good, but, well, depends whose side you are or <laughs> what side of the coin you're looking at, because Kimbo is doing hella good. This is Isildur, folks. Possibly... As I said earlier in the cast, one of the most consistent players to play Co2 at the top level. Kimbo is just making him look ordinary. Is it the commander picks? I don't know. But it's yeah. definitely I think in this game it was. Kimbo. I think this game you've got to say that Ostrupen. We have, we made this tournament format for a reason, quite frankly. I don't know if you noticed in the uh, the intro. It's an Ostrupen uh, build that's getting killed by the Terminator dude. That's what it's meant to be. I don't, I, kind of just all about the music and the electricity, I guess. But Well, you say it's just Commander, but I, you also got to think, right, if Isildur could... You, you see Ostrupen coming so early. 
You've got to think around the subject. You've got to, you've got to try something else coming from a different angle. Yeah, I you guess. can't just go with the tried and tested fail. Uh, no. You know, it's it's time to pull something out the bag. And you know, as we look at different players and their different uh, creativity, we see Skeletor bringing in guards of an M5, destroying <laughs> Elpen from from within his own base, having been base pinned on Langus. You know, the players have got to think outside, think outside the box. The box. They have it. I fully and agree. Just, if, if Kimbo's going to operate 100% efficiency with one of the best commanders, he's going to roll you. You have to think outside the box. You can't go for... A, in this case, it was a vanilla build. Nothing of NKVD was used, really. So it was just a vanilla Soviet build. And um, Kimbo played out of his mind, not taking anything away from him. But we do know for a fact, we can, after this game, Ed, as I say, we're going to have to look at that uh, that commander screen on the brackets. We're going to have to see what Kimbo's yeah. got left at his disposal. Just <laughs> thinking from Isilda's perspective, you know? So it's probably server side, but I just saw a rock just like slashing <laughs> <laughs> its way through the lines, bundling. It was like Roadrunner esque. I don't know what was going on there on my computer, but T70 though for sure could get a wipe on these P Gwen or Paku. No snare down south for Kimbo. Bit of a late, late game revival. Very late. late for Isidore. Could get the P Gwen wipe. T70's no, missing rampantly. The, the hell? Oh. Keeps it on the move. Sit down. Oh, no, that ah, was. No. It's game though. GG. Try to give a bit of hype for us in the last second there, but <laughs> closed out expertly. 500 to zero, folks. 16 minutes. GG for Kimbo and Austin. Not trying hard enough, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you troll. Anyway, we're we're getting ready for game three now, chaps. It's two nil. Kimbo was an absolute machine, as uh, expensive runner says. He absolutely was. The Silda was uh, was awestruck in that game. But uh, as I said, we we are Ed. We we are Ed. We are going to look at those brackets. We're going to take stock of that second screen. Yeah, the, uh... it'd, be, it'd be interesting to see if Thistledore had any kind of guards commanders available because he, he, he could see Austrian coming so early, but he insta-locked in a doctrine that he didn't use at all. There was no um, Soviet commander used. There was no scorched earth. <laughs> Expertly pointed out by Pencil, he had no earth to actually scorch. So <laughs> that was... That was pretty bad times, and without guards, you are going to get mincemeated by a player of Kimbo's skill with a flame half track. You know, we've seen it in the past with uh, Dev M of old, uh, munching through everyone with light vehicles as Austin. And uh, Kimbo didn't even need mobile defense to do it, folks. It was just good old did. OP trooping. Certainly did not. I'm just making sure, um, before I do anything on the brackets, I want to make sure I'm doing things correctly. Um, so we've had, we've seen two commanders thus well we will have, will have seen four commanders thus far won't we? I think we've had for Kimbo's first game. Here we go. <laughs> tactical Red Bull possibly coming out. <laughs> I'm just restocking my uh, my tactical rig here. Snickers as well, boys. Yippee. Ah. Uh, oh. Kimbo's first game. What was that? Was that defensive community? Is it? And an Was iPhone that... in case I need to ring my Finnish mates to help me out in combat. Feels good. Let's do this live. It is the grand final at the end of the day. <laughs> Urban defense. Sorry, that's it. Urban defense for Kim Blob. There you go. So I, Ed, correct me if I'm wrong. The four commanders we've seen thus far. Kimbo, uh, first game. Urban defense versus Isildur. Isildur. What did Isildur use? Was it the one with the Jagdtiger, wasn't it? So that's... Let's do our X's, yeah. right? So breakthrough, yeah, in game breakthrough, one. Breakthrough, 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 breakthrough. Let's go along to breakthrough. Breakthrough. Um, there you go. So that's that one. Now, and then that second game. I just want to get full stock of the situation, you know, just to see how much legs we've got in these meta commanders. It wasn't Ostrupin he used, was it? It was defensive. Oh, so he still has Ostrupin available. Interesting. That was defensive community, wasn't it? Defensive community. <laughs> or Game offensive. Two, yep. off and then Isilda was all over the uh, NKVD for some reason. Yeah, we never saw the officer. It was 
felt bad, man, for Isildur. But there you just got to go. give Kimbo the credit. That was that was surgical precision um, play for, for Oster there. That's exactly what you want. He saved those uh, commanders till the final, the big one, and brought out his biggest guns. So he did. He saved them. He had strategy. them in the back. Look at yeah. some of the others he's been using as well. He played a lot on, um, you, know, you know, Brits. He played a lot of OKW. Uh, to get himself here. And by doing so, he's had the biggest Fairmont commanders going, ready. Um, Isilda, I mean, he himself does have those... Uh, you know, he's used Ostrupen already. He's used Defensive Community already. Look at that. So, on Perhaps his Axis a... games, yeah, on his Axis games, he hasn't got that in the bag for the Grand Finals. Perhaps so... it's a pivot now to a different faction, like UK or USF for the Allies. Because uh, a lot yeah. of the Soviet big Big players have been used. Well, um, it will be a Silder's turn to beat Axis in this game three, which will be on Amelie Fields, right? So you're a Silder, you're starting ooh. as Axis. You've, as you say, you've got loads of Wehrmacht commanders available, but you haven't got the two flavors of the meta. Have you got Jaeger Light? The other one's Jaeger, isn't it? It goes. I swear to God, it's not Jaeger. Jaeger it's Infantry cool. Company is the that uh, one. Yeah, what where everyone can that? camouflage. That's pretty pretty nifty on that yeah, map. Yeah, it's pretty. Damn Jaeger good, Infantry. Isn't it? There we go. Yeah, there he is. Uh, Jaeger been Infantry used still by has Kimbo, that. not by Isildur. Okay. So he has that available to him. That's pretty good. He has Luftwaffe good. supply, folks. Don't worry about <laughs> it. <laughs> He's got a lockdown. So he wants the Opal Blitz's way to victory. Uh, but you know what hasn't been used very much by either player? United. I thought United States Forces were so OP last tournament. I haven't seen that at all. Um, no. Well, they're, they're so OP because they've got one powerhouse commander and then you take that away, you know. Not much uh, variety there left. No, I sad to see not. no storm doctrines ever been used in one room. Feels bad, man. Loki, we... best best doctrine there is. Most <laughs> fun. But uh, yeah, so definitely, I think Kimbo's has played the commander cards a lot better than any other player of this tournament. I'd say helping hands was was up there as well, of um, being versatile and able to use a lot of different commanders. And uh, Kimbo wiped him out yesterday, so. It's one last British hope, folks, of Fisseldor left in this tournament. And Helping Kimbo's... Hands played with gleeful Ahead. abandon, didn't he? It was just he didn't even think he was going to win. He just, well, he's an excellent player, but he just played for fun, you know? And that makes him more dangerous. He was way more dangerous this tournament. Yeah, I think uh, ever since GCS2, I think he's just been a bit more, right, let's be more in the moment, enjoy it, and... Uh... Go full guns blazing. Don't want to simp out like <laughs> a wet little noodle. You want to go in and go out with a big bang if you're going to go out. And uh, but uh, Kimbo now is 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 almost. I hope he hasn't built a rod for his own back because two nil up, Matt, in a best of seven could be best of five. Depends what the players thinking or depends how it goes. But at the moment, it's a best of seven. You're two nil up. You're halfway there. Does now that bit of doubt creep in? Like, shit, can I keep this going? Or as this door can turn the screw, drag out some late games potentially? Because at the moment, it's just it's just going to be a, a walkover if, if it keeps mm. going the way it is. No one wants but... to see a whitewash. <laughs> Unless you've got dinner at like 7 and <laughs> you really want to see two quick games and then... Fair enough, but uh, yeah, I'd like to see a bit of a comeback here from Isildur. Maybe tie things up a bit, give the fans more games, and uh, give us more chance to see different commanders that we don't normally get to see in tournament play. Yeah, best of seven. Oof. Could be changed though, we'll see. Yeah, um, that, that was super secret, by the way, Ed. <laughs> that was like secret discussions going on in the background. <laughs> You're like, Your secret safe <laughs> for me, <man." laughs> I said and to the else. refs, it's a secretly, don't even suggest this to the players yet because you could influence things. But if if the players got to 2-2 two -two in every game was like 50 minutes long, offer them a gentleman's agreement, best of five, like uh, grand final Do I have ace that men in black flash pen to like just erase all their memory? Like. <laughs> Look into the pen. <laughs> 
<laughs> when was the last time you did this to me? Oh yeah, we were going to do a map vote. It was meant to be the, the map makers were all really tense and they really wanted their map to be the grand final map. And I was right, right guys, it's really tense. Uh, we're going to do a, a poll here. The following maps are, and you were like, Ricky Rifle Mill Road, best map ever. All the other maps are shit, <laughs> because it's shit. And you were just like going, you know, <laughs> help a bro out, isn't it? <laughs> Bros before hoes, Matt. You just calling me a hoe? Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh. <laughs> nah, well, no, best of seven um, is on the card, so we'll see how it goes. One player might, you know, just peter out. What if Fistledor gets to three games and say, you know what, it's Kimbo's day. Could have mm. just three games. You never know. In tourneys. Yeah. Stranger things knew. have happened. Stranger things have happened. Zeppelin airships bombing Stoke on Trent. Um. <laughs> Literally happened. We were the first place inland to get bombed by a Zeppelin in 1915. Big airship over Stoke. Bloody hell. One of the Why did they go the for road. Stoke? Maybe Is they'll it do this. The <laughs> top five biggest industrial cities of all time. Maybe, maybe they Ed, forced Ed, more Ed, the you, premiership you were like years on an assault of 1990 to, me. to 2000. They're like, you know what? We'll do everyone a favour where Jonathan Walters doesn't have to play up front and <laughs> Peter Crouch is your best signing in the last 20 years. <laughs> oh... Oh well. Anyway, if you're not from Stoke or from UK, ignore the last ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> let us. Uh, let, we the game has not started quite yet, by the way, guys. So we might have a have tactical I, break. We're yeah, have I got shout time outs. To yeah, get yeah. Some game of fuel in me. No, in you do it. You, you, I'll, 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 I'll just go through all the obligations on my own. Don't worry, and you can go for a break. So uh, see you in a sec, Eddie's. Oh, I'll be right back. Cheers. Got the. There's a big shout out there. I have. I've forgotten to use my first games one and two. I had a lot on my mind, but uh, we've got the uh, the game three to seven transitions made by Tightrope that I will be remembering to use. Um, exactly the lovely people that have donated. We will be going through those right now. Um, the lovely people that have donated to the tournament itself. Let's go and make sure that Ragnar Hammersbane is on the slide because he. I'm so certain he is. Every one of the, the benefactors should be on a slide during the break transition as one of the many uh, perks they get having funded all of these prize pools. And um, and indeed, that's exactly what they're funding. Every, every penny of the Master League goes into the prize pools. I swear he's on there. I swear he's on there. Probably just looked away. He's probably knee-deep in romancing... I failed you, Ragnar. We haven't got the Ragnar slide on there. We will correct that, of course. Um, Ed, that was quick. Ed's already back. Ed's already back. Yeah. How was it? Ed? Yeah, my uh, my relay speed to the fridge and back is, you know, ever increasing <laughs> in, <laughs> in efficiency, Matt. Become a 31 year old Chad Boomer. <laughs> but yeah, I think uh, yeah, game three is big doubt now in Isidore's mind. Can he close out the final game? He sauntered through everyone else. Do, have you have you got a chance to show the brackets again, just to see their paths to this? Uh, yeah, yeah, but, but exclamation mark brackets. Absolutely, I'm just currently using my monitor to give Ragnar some glory. So uh, if you guys can play along with Ed right now, say no more, say no more. <laughs> we all know about Ragnar's glory. Okay, so. Here we go. Oh no, being called. <laughs> you really? What do you mean? You actually? You actually yeah. keep it in a tactical pouch as well? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, right, Ames. On tactical mute there, Red. Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh... One sec, Matt. Sorry, I'll mute. No, no, yes, it's all good. <laughs> Right then, um, guys, we are going to have a tactical break right now. I can confirm the game is 
It has started and it's three minutes away. So a tactical break for both of us. And we'll be right back with the game. So don't go anywhere. I know you're not going to do so. <laughs> Production value is Ed on the phone. Big shout out to Madden yesterday. Donating 30 uh, smackaroonies. Paying for kebabs um, for me and Ed. That was very good of you. Thank you very much. Enjoyed mine and Ed's I'm sure was enjoying his today. Um, so yeah, we're going to go over to that now. So we'll be right back. Thank you and goodbye. 